they could not maybe do or complete by then. We inherited a lot of them, uh, save this few that are here. We've tried our labor base to complete so many projects, and these ones are also, uh, we are also... No, 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 none, none of these are complete. None, none of the ones cited by the Auditor General are complete. So, which ones are those that are complete, if not the ones that the Auditor General cited? Senator Chair, I think, Your Excellency, before you go, uh, I've also noticed one thing that, first of all, it's like you are split into, you are, you are after very small, small projects, which are easy to play around with funds without being noticed. Number two, performance bonds. For this, uh, the Auditor General is flagging that the projects have no performance bonds that would bind somebody to deliver within a timeline. The other, some of them, the contractor that I ask for an extension of time, you do nothing about it, it continues on site. So what exactly is happening in Meru? Because uh, these questions from the Auditor General are extremely telling that there's something that is not right in Meru. How can you give a contract to somebody who has not, been, who does not give you a performance bond, yet the law requires that there should be a performance bond? How do you hold that person accountable if he runs away with your money? And that is what we are, thank you, Chair, that is what we are rectifying uh, today or uh, as an office now because uh, what we learned from the former regime that there are some issues that were skipped and that's why we are finding ourselves in such mess. But we instructed or I instructed my, my office and, and also the department that we shall have no new project until we complete the old stored project way back from even 2014. We are trying our best to complete all the stored projects. Do you have any evidence that uh, for the two years you have been in office, you have uh, demanded that these people furnish the account with performance bonds? Do you have any evidence in the record you have supplied? Yes, and that's why we have the, the, the chief officer and also the procurement officer with me so that they can give also, uh, they can be bear me witness that we've done a lot on our part. The well, I, 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 excellent. They asked a very specific question. Mm -hmm. Do you or do you not have evidence before this committee, before the Senate, that you have taken action on the question of contractors running around in Meru without being bound by performance contracts? Do you have any evidence of that? Chair, in such instances, uh, we have recovered the... I think he's asking for the evidence, so you just point him to the evidence. Not a story. Just since we terminated, we don't have that uh, evidence. So, Mr. Lee, Chair, there's no evidence. They're just giving us stories. And the uh, High Excellency has been in office for two years, uh, close to two years now. And we can only be sold in the song that we are in the process of doing this. We are, I think we are past the age where they are saying we are planning to do this, we are doing this. Umepanga to umetenga. Yeah, we just want you to tell us you have delivered. You have done this, you have done A, B, C, D. Thank you, Chair. In our current regime, we have them. But you have no evidence before us, Your Excellency. You can provide the evidence. Within what period of time? Maybe, Chair. They should give us a time that they can provide that evidence. Governor? One week. Fine, we direct uh, that you provide that evidence. But I think I want to take a global view of, uh, because I'm still asking myself, what is the problem in the health sector? You've got small projects uh, of um, Meru level five cancer center, you are stuck on five million, 10 million. Miadene sub-county hospital, you are stuck after on, on 19 million. Kangeta theater, you are stuck on, uh, Auditor General, how much money is this? Is this 1.2 million or 1.2 billion? Can get, can get a theater. 1.2 million. That is what was paid in that financial year. 1.2 million. Yes, Chair. Now, let's look at erection and completion of what block at Meru Teaching and Referral Hospital. This one is 387 million. 
is this word block complete, Governor? The one at Peru teaching at the Federal Hospital. Well, I'm sure this one is visible to everyone. It's visible to everyone. And if it's a teaching and referral hospital, it's visible even to the students. Thank you, thank you. It is complete. Yeah. So, so, with your permission, before I hike the length answers, this, you have mentioned these small projects that have come up. First of all, was this money adequate for the work that was supposed to be done? Or was this money being split so that uh, interested fellows or some people can get their hands on money in, in Meru County. Because some of the money with the works, have they done an audit to see that the 19 million or the 10 million or whatever was enough to do the work that was at hand? Or was this splitting of these works a way of getting many hands onto the cake in Meru? Governor? Uh, thank you, Chair. At the moment, majority of the works uh, have been completed Equipping of the water block is ongoing, awaiting opalization of the block. And uh, with the chief officer, you can also still add something. No, we want to be specific. The Auditor General says the block is not yet operational, despite being launched by the Governor on 19th July 2022. So the Governor then launched an incomplete block. When was block completed. Which year? Was it by July 2022? Maybe. Allow me, Chair. Uh, when was the block completed? It was, uh, just to correct what you have mentioned there as per the statement of the feedback, it was not launched on that 19th July because uh, it wasn't complete by then. But uh, as, as we speak... I believe the Auditor General knows what the understand when the right launched. When was the work completed? Uh, you have said it's complete. You should be having a certificate of practical completion yes. with a date. How is a public project complete? Don't you need a certificate of practical completion? Yeah, that... that uh, Where is it? When is it dated? That one we don't have here, but two. So it is not complete as far as you are concerned? What I've been done is just uh, the last thing that was done in the last financial year. It so where's the complete. evidence that it is complete? That the certificate is not here. So what do we take as a Senate when you tell us it is complete? Because it could be a shell. Number two, the Auditor General has talked about electrical installations, lifts, networking, water tanks, medical gas, uh, etc, etc, which have not yet been started. Have those been delivered? Point number two. The, the rift are there, and also the fitting of electrical installation is done. Uh, the networking? And the networking cables are already set. Water tanks? The water tanks, that was what was remaining as part of Medical uh, gas uh, plant room or gas points? They are there. Although the structure is complete, finishing works like ceiling cannot proceed before installation of network cables, CCTV links, gas piping, and electrical wiring. Has that been done? The, the, the Why are you looking like you are seeing this audience query for the first time? I'm asking, uh, sorry, what I wanted to mention, the CCTV links and a little bit of the finishing is what was remaining. But the last you have mentioned, electricity has been done. So it is incomplete. Yes, because the final certificate has not been given yet. Subcontractor payments have been delayed, leading to stalling of major works. These include electrical and mechanical works, plumbing, water tanks, cabling, and medical gas installation. That was the situation then. Has that been resolved? Yeah, we received the final, uh, I mean, the, the last batch of uh, uh, certificates from subcontractors which were being paid this last financial year. Uh, the only thing that is pending as we speak is the main contractor to do the form or the final fittings, I mean the final searing point or the searings that, that were expected. You know, I see a structural problem in your organization, Governor. 
I'm listening to the pharmacist uh, explaining uh, civil uh, engineering matters and procurement issues, and I think that is least uh, qualified. What you bring to us is a certificate of practical completion. How do we tell it is complete in the absence of that? And even for utilization, now if it's used, this an occupation certificate. Um, so maybe, maybe you could assist the, the governor. The certificate of completion, certificate of, 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 of occupation, is an expert opinion that is given by an expert on the status of a building or a project. So it cannot be a word against our word, or your word against the word of the Auditor General. There are people who read a requirement in law that you do a, a certificate of completion to show that there is an expert opinion that this project has been completed. Then a certificate of occupation to show that it is, it is, it is habitable. So in the absence of that, uh, Your Excellency, it's not possible for the Senate to accept that those, those projects are complete. And if they are, then let us show us within the documents you have supplied the evidence of those certificates. Because in the absence of those certificates, then uh, you can't claim that the projects are complete because you don't have the expertise nor the authority to do that. So where in your documents, Your Excellency, do we have those certificates of completion and certificate of occupation? Uh, we will bring them uh, maybe in the next one week because the chief officer says that the documents are there but not with us today. It appears we didn't understand what was bringing us to the Senate today. Yeah. Yeah. Sen Senator, Senator I'm looking at this document to see who's going to find from the next ones you are referring to Annex 18, 19, 20, 21. And when I look at this document, those annexes are, annexes are not in the document. Maybe mine is different because I wanted to see what Senator Mdata is asking about the completion document. Okay. Because Annex 19 is copy of complete contract document. So there are some annexes there which are missing. I don't know whether it is deliberate or someone. There's a gap for between Annex 17 and 22. Uh, Governor, and those are the annexures that relate to this query. So and also, Chair, to ask whether we have a Department of uh, Public Works in the Meru County Government, because the Chief Officer held his struggling in, uh, in an area that is not an expert. Because they should just ensure that works are done and public works are engaged to do the right thing. So whether there is such a department in the Public works and even those terminated contracts, we need to be demanding of a professional opinion from the head of procurement. Um, OAG, we, before you make, uh, you terminate a contract, do you need, because before you enter into contract, you need the professional opinion. Now when you are terminating, is there a role for the procurement, the head of procurement? Yes, very important. So it's a head of procurement we should be explaining these things, not the pharmacy. In fact, uh, Chair, termination involves the Attorney General. You cannot terminate a contract unless there has been a professional opinion from the procurement department and the Attorney General has concurred. Which is the county attorney in this case. Yes. So, Governor, you, you, you know, you're, we, I hope we are helping you to see the problems that you need to deal with. Thank you, Chair. And that's why today we have even the end of procurement with us, so that we can also learn what is happening and what we are supposed to do uh, to increase maybe our knowledge. We have many ways the end of procurement can shed light on one or two things that have been. So, 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 so end of procurement, all these terminated contracts, where is your professional opinion? Thank you, Chair. It is not built here. So where is it? Why did you come to the Senate then? You didn't come with them. Which query were you coming to respond to? 
<coughs> Anything touching on procurement? And that is it. We have projects here where contracts have been terminated. We are being told of new procurement plans. Where, what evidence do you come with to convince us that things have been done in accordance with the law? Because I want to believe that you provide, as a procurement specialist, you provide expert advice to the pharmacist who is the chief officer. In terms of this uh, male teaching and referral hospital, 387 million. What is the total? So that was the initial contract sum. Your guys are saying it's complete. We have not seen the certificate of completion. But what is the total, the final sum? Have there been variations? Is it still 387 million? Thank you, Chair. Uh, we've not um, processed or passed any variation which should go through a committee. So what is your evidence that the project is complete? I, I don't have any uh, evidence. So, Governor, then you must uh, withdraw what you are, you are telling us here, that the project is complete, because uh, there is no evidence to support that. Chair, allow me to answer this because I'm the one who pays. Chair, we have pinned 95% of the contract sum. When you pay, what is the role of procurement before you pay? Procurement. Does procurement have any role? On payment, no. Before making the final uh, uh, payment? Does procurement play any role when it comes to variation, for example? Yeah, variation, yes. Mm -hmm. So has there been any variation? No. Uh, you are saying you pay 95%? We have paid 95% of the contract sum. And actually, Chair... Which equates to? 95%. 3... Oh, don't work out 95% uh, of 387. Tell us the actual payment that you have made. Okay, it is within 95%, approximately 95%. I wanted just to explain the status of that project in terms of payment. What, when was the, what was the inception date for this project? A year. Just give us a year. Okay, it was contracted in the year 2017. And, uh, and it was supposed to run till? two years. So it was supposed to run up to 2019? Yes. But um, it was completed in quotes. Completed in quotes in which year? Completed in terms of the normal structure. The shell was done. Whatever it is you guys are saying is complete. When was that? Which year was that? Oh, there, are, there are two issues here, Chair. At the time of the audit, the structure was done, but the no, you did. You issued a contract in the year 2017 to deliver something. Yes. Within two years. Yes. When, in which, after how many years was it delivered? Now. Whatever it is that you contracted in 2017. 2023, chair. That's it was delivered in 2023. Yes. Six years later. Yes. So despite the change in scope, as far as time is concerned, you are confirming that there was no change in scope as far as cost is concerned. Is that what you're telling us? Yes. That the contract as of 2017, the amount and the deliverables remain constant up to 2022? Okay, the contractor may have struggled, but they have done it up to 95% they have paid. The remaining bit is the one now that uh, the Department of uh, Public Works, they are doing the BQ. Is, is Public Works part of your delegation? Not really. And that was a question of uh, the Deputy Speaker. I think, Honorable Members, uh, this uh, matter, we need to ask the Auditor General to keep it in view and to give us a comprehensive audit, because I'm not convinced that a project that was contracted in 2017 and delivered in 2022, the cost remains the same. We know the escalation of prices, especially uh, building material, and um, we, we want to get a proper picture. And that can only be done by the Auditor General. I don't think we are at a point where we should be asking ESCC to look at it, but let the Auditor General 
give us a proper report in the financial audit for 2023-2024 because the amount is very material, 387 million. Um, I, I, think, I think that then should uh, allow us to assess the roles of the various professionals in a successful delivery of this project. Unless there's any other observation, I think we can get out of the... We have dealt with the most critical issues that have been highlighted by the Auditor General. And I think health, human resource were very big things. The legal fees was also a big matter. On the consultancy services, number 9 and 10, the Auditor General tells us that uh, the issues raised have now been addressed. Auditor General? Confirm, Chair, they okay. have been addressed. And then on uh, effectiveness of internal controls, on the issue of maintenance of vehicles, the records have been provided. And supplies of assorted pharmaceuticals at various hospitals by CAMSA, the issues have likely been addressed. However, there is an issue of expired drugs in facilities. Governor, are you aware of that? I'm not aware of that. Auditor General, can you explain uh, the issue of expired drugs? Yeah, from the records that were provided to the auditors, where it was uh, stated on their records that some of the drugs had been had expired. Thank you, Chair. But and that was the county itself that said the drugs had expired, or it was your assessment? From their records and uh, with assistance from the various... Uh,